Okay. That's when the age of 28, we're talking all system manifestations. Um, all the system manifestations that has been part of the mind consciousness system to keep you enslaved, controlled, and remaining programmed within your preordained, pre-programmed life design is successfully manifested, infused, and imprinted into an Azure human physical body where your human physical body is no more separate from your mind consciousness system. Your mind consciousness system has successfully, entirely, and completely infused, integrated, and amalgamated itself as your physical. And why then does the process of death commence at the age of 28? Is because the mind consciousness system is now completely the physical, its only source of food, let's call it that, is you and the energy you produce. Um, because the mind consciousness system is now the physical in its totality and completeness, it no more feeds off of the physical energy reserves, um, the nutrients that's existent in your human physical body. There's no more for the mind consciousness system to feed off that which is natural of the human physical body because the mind consciousness system is now completely possessed and taken over the human physical body. That's why up to the age of 28, um, you still have, from the ages of 0 to 28, you still have um, your human physical body, let's say, available. <laughs> um, that's when the mind consciousness system is still separate from the physical. But during the ages from 0 to 28, the mind consciousness system starts integrating and infusing and amalgamating into the physical until it completely becomes it and, in essence, death commence. The, your walk or road to the grave is inevitable. And um, because, the because the mind consciousness system is now literally um, feeding off of energy, it's already fed off all or most of the nutrients existent in the human physical body um, during the ages from 0 to 28 to prepare itself to become the physical in its totality. And then from 28 to death, uh, what happens is the extent of the existence of the mind consciousness system in and as the physical um, causes the depletion of the physical itself because the physical literally wastes away because there's nothing left. And that experience of the physical of wasting away, because there's nothing left, the physical is completely system, is the process of aging. Okay, let's get back to the flower of life construct as system manifestation. So the first petal represents the age of round about one to three. Now, if you have a look, the ages vary from the within the first, second, third, and fourth petal, sometimes two to three years, because that's dependent on the being's experience um, within this world, where they're born. Um, because this system manifestation of the flower of life constructs main, um, um, main essence is energy. And if you have... Uh, life experience in this world that um, cause, create um, many reactions within yourself, such as having what is defined as a difficult life, uh, much of what I will be explaining will happen sooner. Um, if you have an easier life where there's not much reactions, um, as you grow older, as you experience yourself, you have quite an ordinary, simple life where um, your way is quite paved before you, um, what I will be explaining happens a little bit later. Okay, so let's begin. I'll draw this part out again over here so we can go into the specificity of the system manifestation. Okay, so we have here in the chest area the main part of the system manifestation with its main source point 
with all the energetic threads connected at the back of this main part of the system manifestation. All the threads free flowing in the human physical body. Um, you have your circular formations on each and every single petal. And each and every single circular formation is equal to an individual energetic thread that's free-flowing in the human physical body and connected at the back of this main part of the system manifestation where each and every single individual energetic thread represent a emotion or a feeling such as for example fear, worry, concern, happiness, love, joy, etc. Okay. Now, as I said, first pedal, age one to three, um, seven to nine, thirteen to fifteen, uh, looking seventeen to eighteen, twenty-one, and then the completion of self as the totality that self become as a system manifestation occurs at the age of twenty-eight. Okay. Now, let's begin in explaining how you, from the age of one to three, begin the process of becoming the system manifestation and actually designing and creating you and your own life in this world. Okay, <clears throat> so we begin, age one to three. Now, from the, age, from the age of one to three years old to seven to nine, you go through the cycle of... Recognizing the cycle of recognizing. Okay, now during this cycle, you start recognizing that there are these experiences within you. Now, these experiences you cannot yet define because you do not have the vocabulary for it yet, but you definitely, most certainly, have energetic experiences going on and moving within you in various situations. Um, you, for example, as a child, see a dog running and um, you experience a sense of oh, upliftment, but you cannot yet define that movement that's going on inside you with just seeing that dog running. Um, or you hear your parents fighting and there's a constriction happening within you and you physically experience that constriction which is fear, but you do not yet have a vocabulary for it. So this is the phase of recognizing that there is, or there are these movements occurring within your physical. Um, but there's no yet understanding um, of what it is. There's just, I mean, imagine you're a child and you have these movements of energy happening within you. You don't know it's energy. You can't even define it as movements. It's just almost these vibrations that's suddenly happening and each vibration has a different experience to it. This is exactly what a child experiences during the ages of one to three to seven to nine years of age. Alright, 